Gemini! Welcome to your singles love reading for the month of July. So it's for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Maybe you're spying on a Gemini um, for whatever reason. So here we go. How are Geminis going to find themselves this month or kind of see yourselves in your situation as being single in the month of July 2017? You may be feeling like, fudge, I've been single forever. Like I'm stuck here and I don't like it and it sucks. <laughs> but actually that's a decision to stay in that mindset. You don't have to be. They're like, if you just feel confident that love is coming for you, then it can. You know, feel good about yourself. Um, know that you're worthy of it and that it will come should you want that. They're like, focus on the, um, you've been doing a good job focusing on the positives of being single. Um, but like now it's starting to hurt. You know, you've been single so long or um, you're just so uncomfortable with being single that it's, it's starting to take a toll. Okay. Now, how are others seeing you this month? Love at first sight. They see you and go, that's a person I want to be with. That person's appealing. They're um, beautiful. They're sexy. They're smart. They're funny. You know, all these qualities. Um, but they feel stagnant, like that they maybe can't approach you, that they have to wait for whatever reason. So what would that be? Um, it's wondering if it's worth the investment to take the time to try to grow something because maybe you're not putting um, tremendous interest out there. It has something to do maybe less with that though, but more with them working. Like, okay, so I'm really into this Gemini. They seem like the person that I might want to be with. That, you know, I want to give this a go. I want to tell them that I'm interested. But I work so much that I don't know if I have time to date. So then they just don't talk to you, you know. So that kind of sucks. Um, what can you do about it, though? Um, well, you can just be like, hey, I noticed that you might be looking at me a little bit. <laughs> Um, are you interested in, in dating, you know, and then just let them know what your expectations are, what's important to you as far as a partner. Because if you are not super um, attached and if, if you don't need, you know, somebody's undivided attention all the time initially when getting to know them, then that might work out, right? Um, what do you need to avoid this month in regards to love, Gemini? That's interesting. I want to get clarity on that. All right, don't go ahead, though, like just talking to anybody that might show interest in you unless you think that they're the kind of person who would make you happy. I mean, it sounds obvious, but when we're going through this kind of pain where we're like we don't want to be alone or we feel like we've been single too long, like sometimes we jump at the wrong opportunities, right? What can you do to grow or attract um, love or in increase the amount of suitors that you might have? Um, they're like, worry about you. You know, um, but this is like a very materialistic card. It's about making sure that you look cute every time you go out. <laughs> you know, it's like dress well, put on your makeup, like don't just like roll over to Starbucks in your pajamas, you know, because the girls who look like they're wearing pajamas and, you know, they've got the messy bun and all that stuff, that shit took them 40 minutes to do. Like, you, I'm not saying take 40 minutes to do your hair and makeup when you're feeling like, you just want a coffee in the morning, but try to make sure that you like kind of look presentable because, um, you know, and I know it sounds stupid, right? Because looks and appearance aren't everything, but it's like that initial first thing. Okay. And we can't deny it. It is what it is. Um, you're lying to yourself if you think differently. So what it's saying is, is that, um, you know, Try to manifest a relationship if that's what you want. You know, put one hand up to the sky, one to the ground, and be like, God, Allah, spirit guides, angels, universe, whatever. Can you shoot, you know, I'm, I'm sending my wishes up to you. Can you, like, shoot them down into the ground through me? <laughs> Can you deliver these wishes? Because they sure can. The magician is about the law of attraction. You know, love in, is the biggest thing here on the table, right? The swords are laying down. So swords are communication. We want that. Money, stability, harmony, we want that. Um, fun, excitement, we want that. But what's standing upright? Love. We want love the most. So let's try to manifest that because there are infinite possibilities for happiness here. There really are. 
So we just got to think about what we want. It's like we might be kind of living in this place of um, suspicion or paranoia like, oh, um, I'm getting too old. Like the right person isn't going to show up for me. Or, you know, I don't go anywhere new so I don't really meet new people. Or everybody at my age is already married. Or, um, you know, it's hard for me to find somebody with the same religious or cultural or political views as me kind of a thing. Um, but that's only reality if you believe that it is, right? Because they're like, you could totally manifest the person that you grow old with and retire with. Like your forever person in a relationship that's actually like super, could be with an earth sign, doesn't have to be. But it's like, like how an earth sign would want their relationship to be. Like very stable, predictable, like finances are good. Like everything, you got your house together. Like everything is good. It's easy um, outside of the relationship. So what's working for you this month? Oh, I love it. The divine. <laughs> What's working for you? Angels, spirit guides, God, Allah, the universe, whatever it is that you believe in, they're working in your favor this month. They really are. They have a strong presence in your life this month for whatever reason. I don't do astrology, but for whatever reason, they are in alignment with you. So, so long as you ask for what you want and you believe that you deserve it and, and you know, um, that they will bring it to you. They're more than happy to do that. Look at that. Um, it's just about deciding what you want and then taking the actions to ask. You know, because Ace of Wands is all about new adventures, new beginnings, new starts. And I don't know if um, how many of you are really familiar with tarot and what the wands look like. But here, for example, are different wands, okay? Each wand has like what, like three little buds on it? That's good. But look how many this one has. And buds are new growth, new opportunity, things that are exciting, okay? This is a really, really good card to have in regards to relationships. It's like passion. So there you have it. <laughs> um, what? Oh, cute. Make your wish. It's the wish card. They're like, please, just tell us what you want. We are trying so hard to bring it to you, but we need to know what you want. And I know I've used this analogy before, but you don't call and you're like, hey, I'd like a pizza for delivery. Um, here's my address. And they're like, what kind of pizza do you want? And you just hang up, right? Because they're not going to bring you a pizza, right? Because they don't know what you want on it. They don't know if it's thin crust. They don't know if it's pepperoni or if it's jalapenos or pineapple. So that's the point. You got to get specific about what you want so they can bring it to you. That's what they're saying. They're like basically begging you to make a prayer. So um, what's working against you this month? <laughs> Communicating what you want. Saying, you know what? Everything else in my life is kind of organized. I've um, got a good day-to-day -day plan. I've got a good job. Like a lot of things are stable. Um... You know, I'm creative. I have time to spend on my hobbies. These are all good things. The only thing I'm missing is love. And you're kind of, you know, sitting back and saying, well, that's just fine. You know, that's good. My life is good. And it's not to say you shouldn't be appreciative or express gratitude for those things. Absolutely do that. But then also place your order for the pizza of love that you want. Um, this is saying, like, you're kind of focused in on your day-to-day -day life because it is so secure and stable right now and you maybe don't want to let that slip or let it go and so I mean yeah that's a good place of focus but let's kind of start thinking about what we want in regards to love so that we can draw it in. Um, what are the lessons that we're learning in regards to love this month for single Geminis? Empathy, feeling and understanding the emotions of others in the service of love. So who knows maybe you know somebody that it could, I feel like it's more this scenario than with somebody that you already know, but perhaps it's, you know, like in movies when there's a girl and she's walking and she drops all of her papers on the ground and then a hot guy like helps her pick it up and they're picking up the same paper at the same time and they lock eyes, that kind of a thing, <laughs> expressing empathy for others. So you see someone spill their coffee, offer to buy them a new one. Um, you see someone you know, that has, that sat, sat in gum, let them know, you know, you could say, hey, I'm not looking at your butt, or maybe I am, but there's gum on it. Start a conversation. Explain how you feel bad about the gum on their ass, um, and then suggest a way for them to get it off. <laughs> it could be simple things like that, 
But that's how we're going to form deep bonds and connections and also memories. So anyway, love and light. See you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat. Like on Facebook.